Yeah, exactly. The game of musical chairs in the mortgage business has been on for quite some time now. There are companies that are in the market and some that are out of the market. If you want to have a conversation about great companies, we would certainly have a discreet conversation with you. All you have to do is click this banner over there. Now, on with the show. According to the Dallas Federal Reserve Board, home prices look like they're going to drop by about 20%. Now, I'm going to tell you, this kind of me off. And I'll explain why in a minute. But first, here's the dirt. America's home prices could plunge as much as 20% due to the sharp rise in mortgage interest rates in 2022, which are drastically increasing home ownership costs and boost the odds of a severe house price correction. The pandemic created an unusual elixir for the real estate market with record low mortgage rates and work from home orders whipping up a surge of demand for home ownership. At the height of the market, some buyers even waived traditional contingencies such as inspections and offered tens of thousands of dollars over asking prices in order to win their bids. A fear of missing out mentality that fed into the bubble. That's according to the Dallas Fed. Okay, irresponsible. Think about what they just did. Let's say you're a realtor out there right now and you have a motivated buyer like chomping at the bit wanting to buy a home and then they hear from the freaking Federal Reserve of the United States where they just said, hey, you might want to hold off on buying that house today because you'll get a 20% discount if you can just wait a few more months because that's what I heard. Further, they said the pandemic created an unusual elixir for the real estate market with record low mortgage rates. The pandemic did not create the lower mortgage rates. You did. That's right. The Federal Reserve single-handedly created the lower rates. The Fed who bought trillions in mortgage-backed securities artificially kept rates lower than they would have been, thus creating the problem that we're in right now in a super high rate environment. COVID had nothing to do with this, guys. Unbelievable. You know who isn't concerned? about home prices and is not sitting on the fence? Well, that would be J.P. Morgan Chase, who's looking to spend $1 billion acquiring single-family rental properties. Institutional investors advised by the bank formed a joint venture with Haven Realty Capital to buy and develop entire communities of new homes, according to a statement on Tuesday. The partners are seeding the venture with three communities in the Atlanta area and will eventually deploy $415 million in equity, enough to acquire more than 2,500 houses. Imagine, Chase has your credit card. Chase has your car loan, your savings account. Chase has your IRA, your checking account. Now Chase has your house. There is a very real scenario where Chase just literally owns your ass. Oh, you're behind on your car payment. Screw repoing the car. Of course we're going to do that, but we're going to evict you in the process. Yeah, they got you by the you know what. Now lenders like UWM and New Res, amongst others, are looking at buy down options as a means of combating higher interest rates. UWM in particular is offering a temporary buy down that now goes a full 3%. I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty slick. It really is great, it is. Uh, But if you're looking at a two or a three one buy down, I would also encourage you to also look at a 40 year loan with a 10 year interest only period up front. Think of it as not a two or three year buy down, but because it's interest only, it's like you get a 10 year buy down and then it just goes over to a 30 year fixed rate loan. I mean, I'd rather have a 10 than a two or three. So talk to my friends over at Oak Tree because they can help you understand these programs and they've got different options like bank statement loans with a 40 year and and, uh, 1099 loans with a 40 year. I mean, just really, really great options the stuff to help out more than just your traditional client, but also your self-employed client and your contracted worker and client. So click this banner right over there. Talk with my friends over at Oak Tree. They will dial you in. Hope this helps. Later.